Jesus freak here. Now, I understand there's a few different interpretations of this. When I was a kid, I was told there was only one un one way to understand it. And it came to pass when men, uh, men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took themselves wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in under the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him in his heart. I've always understood it this way. That these sons of God were <clears throat> fallen angels. And The concept of fallen angels is mentioned elsewhere in Scripture. In, for example, the epistle of Jude, where um, Jude, who is a Jesus' half-brother, said, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness under the judgment of the great day. So obviously, you know, angels too had free will and used it and misbehaved and got kicked out of heaven. Now, the idea of two similar uh, species mating and producing viable offspring exists. The mule is probably the best known of these. you got others, though. A lot of, you have a lot of these with uh, giant cats. Ligers. And in fact... The Tigon, which is the exact opposite of a Liger, uh, <clears throat> Liger has a lion father and a tiger's mother. Uh, Tigon is the opposite. The, the father's a tiger, the mother's a lioness. Now, the mixed up genes between the two species result in broken genetics and the size limiters built into their genes is broken and they become absolutely massive. And this is why this is what happened. This is what, why the Nephilim were so big. Because the growth inhibitors were broken and as a result they became massive and it wasn't just before the flood this kept happening that's how you had the Anakin that's how you had the giants of Gath people with sick you know, you know 12 fingers and 12 toes 
I had only heard in like the last five years the very idea that the sons of God mentioned here could be anything but fallen angels. Like, for example, the Church of Rome tries to worm their way around it. I see it as an example of Occam's razor. The best explanation is the one that requires the fewest external assumptions. There's nothing in my explanation that can't be inferred strictly from the use of Holy Writ. Which can't be said about the, oh, sons of God is supposed to mean the children of, of Seth or whatever as opposed to the sons of Cain. That just requires too much, not too many reaches and grasps for straws. Whereas the sons of God are, or the angels just fits every other use of sons of God. It's just the obvious reading. the plainest possible interpretation. Jesus freak out. 